Kashmir to Kanyakumari, India as a spellbinding mosaic of culture, tradition, languages and an extraordinary mingling civilization. Keeping its age-old culture maintained today, the country is taking huge strides in the path of development. Hello, I'm your host Skyrim Zamik and today in our episode of My India, we bring you some of the stories that will give a glimpse of our country's diversity. Each time around the dawn of the new year, Himachal Pradesh gets ready to welcome the oncoming year with a plomp and festivities. The five-day-long Manali Winter Carnival that offers the most unique and exciting cultural experiences tops the list. Let's take a look at this year's event that presented the local culture and lifestyle at its best. Manali, the resort town in Himachal Pradesh got dipped in colors of joy and festivity as it hosted its annual Winter Carnival. Organized after a gap of almost two years due to COVID-19, the festival was inaugurated by the state's Chief Minister Jairam Thakur. This time, more than 180 tableaus ranging from women organizations to various departments and institutions from the state as well as from neighboring states took part in the parade. They exhibited Himachali art, culture, festivals, artisans and cottage industries besides the development in tourism. और विंटर कार्निवाल की जो खासियत है कि हमारी महिला मंडल महिला मंडल के साथ-साथ में हमारे सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स हैं और उनका बड़े पर बड़े स्तर पर जो उनका पार्टिसिपेशन होता है और यहां हिमाचल की संस्कृति हमारे पुराने जमाने के जो खानपान की सारी चीजों का यहां पर इसमें प्रदर्शन होता है और अपनी संस्कृति को मजबूत करने की दृष्टि से आज भी इस विंटर कार्निवाल के माध्यम से एक बहुत बड़ा संदेश हो दिया जाता है और मैं सभी विंटर कार्निवाल में जो जितने भी पार्टिसिपेंट्स हैं महिला मंडल हैं विशेष तौर से सेल्फ हेल्प ग्रुप्स हैं और इसके साथ अन्य संगठन के जितने भी उनको भी बधाई देता हूं यहां पर बहुत प्रकार के कल्चर रिप्रेजेंट होने वाले हैं बहुत सारी महिलाएं रंग बिरंगे कपड़ों में बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है और यहां का माहौल यहां का कल्चर बहुत अच्छे कल्चर्स हैं सारे कल्चर को देखने का मौका मिल रहा है हम सबको 5 दिन तक कंडक्ट होना है तो बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है अ फोक डांस कुलवी नट्टी परफॉर्मड बाय अराउंड 3000 विमेन वाज द हाइलाइट एट द नेशनल लेवल विंटर कार्निवल Dressed in traditional attires, women from around 75 women organizations presented the folk dance, giving the message of women empowerment. Tourists were quite mesmerized to witness the cultural extravaganza. The winter carnival is happening here. It feels very good here. यहां पे थाउजेंड्स पे लेडीज हैं जिन्होंने यहां का जो पर्टिकुलर अटायर है कॉस्ट्यूम्स हैं वो पहन रखे हैं इट्स वेरी कलरफुल रेड एंड ब्लैक का कॉम्बिनेशन में इन्होंने पहन रखा है इट्स वेरी अट्रैक्टिव और ये कार्निवल एक्चुअली टूरिज्म को अट्रैक्ट कर रहा है अपनी तरफ और यहां पे थाउजेंड ऑफ पीपल इसमें हिस्सा ले रहे हैं बहुत एंजॉय कर रहे हैं इस चीज को हमने ये नृत्य विंटर कार्निवल मनाली में सामूहिक नृत्य किया है जो हमारी वेशभूषा और परंपरा को दर्शा रहा है हजारों महिलाओं ने इसमें पार्टिसिपेट किया है अलग-अलग जगहों से यह हमारा जो नृत्य है नाटी है कुलू नाटी वो गिनीज बुक ऑफ वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड में भी दर्ज हो चुका है और इनका बुक ऑफ वर्ल्ड रिकॉर्ड में भी दर्ज हो चुका है इस नृत्य के माध्यम से हर हजारों महिलाओं ने महिला सशक्तिकरण का एक पूरे विश्व को संदेश दिया है और हमें अच्छा लग रहा है कि हम अपनी जो कल्चर को है वो प्रिजर्व और प्रमोट कर रहे हैं इस विंटर कार्निवल में नृत्य के माध्यम से Regarded as the largest tourism event of Himachal Pradesh, Winter Carnival not just attract tourists to Kullu and Manali during the off-season, but also promote the folk culture and provide a platform to artists. The Indian society stands as an undefeatable example of unity in diversity with myriad faiths and different cultural and ethnic beliefs residing together. Several individuals and organizations work on a daily basis to promote religious togetherness and spread the message of love and peace. One such individual is Ajay from Amritsar city of Punjab who is inspiring people around him to step above and beyond all religious barriers and promote brotherhood. <laughs> 
take a look. Mutual tolerance and regards for the belief of other religions is the characteristic of Indian society. Examples of individuals fostering this unification among various faiths can be found in every nook and corner of the country. One among them is Ajay Kumar from Amritsar city of Punjab, who is setting a wonderful example of communal harmony by running a shop outside the Jama Mosque in the city. Ajay says that besides running his shop, he also takes care of the people visiting the mosque. हम मतलब बिजनेस करते हैं इधर काम करते हैं हेलमेट का दुकान है मिक्स मतलब जनरल स्टोर है हमारा ऊपर दुकान भी है हमारी तो दुकान तो चलाते चलाते हैं साथ में कोई अंदर कोई गलत वलत आदमी ना बढ़ जाए उसको भी देख रेख करते हैं जुम्मे की नमाज होती है तो सभी लोग उस हमारे को तो हमारे तो काफी लोग वाकिफ हो गए हैं जब भी आते हैं दुआ सलाम करके जाते हैं जी वो ऐसी वैसी कोई बात ही नहीं है हमारा इनके साथ पूरा प्यार है ऐसी कोई बात ही नहीं है मतलब गलत कोई बात ही नहीं है हमारा इनके साथ पूरा भाईचारा है द शॉप वॉज स्टार्टेड बाय अजय ग्रैंड फादर सेवेंटी ईयर्स अगो इवन दो अजय इज अ हिंदू ही नेवर शाइज अवे फ्रॉम विजिटिंग द मॉस्क एंड इवन डिस्ट्रीब्यूट स्वीट्स among children on the occasion like bakreed both visitors and locals appreciate ajay for giving the message of peace and brotherhood in the society hamare je ajay uncle hain ek kam se kam mene 70 saal se abab ho gaye hain inse pehle inke wali sahab the atilak raj uncle bahut acha vyavhar hai taqriban sare bazar mein hi pure bhai chare wala vyavhar hai aur bahut hi mohabbat se pyar aman se hum log rehte hain और बहुत ही अच्छी तरीके से चलता आ रहा है और हम यही दुआ करते हैं कि हमेशा ऐसे ही चलता है इट इज ड्यू टू पीपल लाइक अजय दैट इंडिया स्टैंड एज एन अनडिफीटेबल एग्जाम्पल ऑफ मल्टी रिलीजियस एंड मल्टी कल्चरल सोसाइटी एंड लीव द वर्ल्ड और स्ट्रक विद इट्स एबिलिटी टू बी अ होम टू अ नंबर ऑफ रिलीजियस एंड एथनिक कम्युनिटीज नाउ अ राउंड अप ऑफ सम ऑफ द मेजर स्टोरीज दैट मेज न्यूज रिसेंटली Zoo inmates in Indian cities like Jaipur and Indore got special heaters and other arrangements to help survive the chilling cold wave. Most reptiles need special arrangements during cold weather as these cold-blooded animals are not able to regulate their body temperatures. Is par thande se unko log prime roop se to enclosures ke jo retire rooms hain chambers hain unko poorn roop se band kiya tha hai taaki raat mein kitha thand ka तो राइट को ज़्यादा ठंड का प्रभाव रहता है उसके लिए दूसरे जितने भी एनकुलेस में हीटर लगाए जाते हैं ताकि गर्मी को उनका बाथरूम मिलता रहे जो टेम्परेचर नॉर्मल वहाँ का टेम्परेचर रात्रि के समय करीब तीन चार डिग्री हो जाता है उसको बढ़ा के करीब बीस पच्चीस डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड लग जाता है ताकि वो किसी ठंड का उनको प्रभाव नहीं इनके साथ साथ उनके डाइट में हम लोग बर्तलाव करते हैं Animals displaced from their natural habitats are the worst affected by a change in temperature as they are kept in places where the temperatures are not favorable to their bodies. A statue of Portugal and Manchester United forward Cristiano Ronaldo was recently unveiled by authorities in India's western state of Goa. The golden figure showing Ronaldo kicking a ball is designed to inspire youth and take football to the next level in the state. Local lawmaker Michael Lobo who unveiled the statue in a park in the state capital Panji said that the statue will motivate players to excel in football. This is nothing but to inspire our youth. If you want to take football to the other level, then this is what boys and girls will get inspired looking at him taking selfies with him. Ronaldo the 36 year old five time Ballon d'Or winner who has scored over 800 goals for club and country has seen several statues made in his honor over the years Ronaldo has even been immortalized as Spanish Cagnol and Christmas Pooper in Barcelona's markets Buddhist monks at a Bhutanese monastery in India's eastern pilgrimage town of Bodh Gaya recently performed mass dance and prayed to gods for the world peace and burying of evil spirits. Dressed in colorful costume, the monks also played the traditional musical instruments while dancing. 
According to beliefs, the vibration of traditional instruments and appearance of masks scare the evil spirits and bring happiness and peace. The Bhutan Monastery kept the celebration low-key this year, banning the entry of visitors and devotees because of the pandemic. And now we will take you to Barasat city of West Bengal, where a Hindu family has been taking care of a mosque for around 50 years as a symbol of unity and brotherhood among citizens. Take a look. Cultural inclusivity is the USP of Indian society. It is quite common to see individuals of different religions, ethnicities and backgrounds participating in each other's festivals and performing gestures that promote brotherhood and harmony amongst themselves. Standing out as a symbol of communal harmony, family members of Parth Sarthi Basu in West Bengal have been taking care of a mosque for about 50 years. Bishon Gorbo Kori Aktavishoy, Jaman Akjun Hindu Isabe, Gorbo Kori, Amade Hindu Tor, Kotota, Manamade Kotota, Udar Manusigota, Atik Seram Babe, Amade Gorbo Kori, Amade, Ekanka J Muslim Bairaze, Tade J Moner Monte, J Halovasa, Pukas Pes, Amade Sate, Yang Amade Monte, Ekotis of Amade Chuleas, Mane Peta Ovoni Yapa. Located in Barasat city of West Bengal, Amanati Masjid is located around 25 kilometers away from Kolkata. The name of the mosque comes from Shah Amanat, an 18th century ascetic in Chittagong worshipped by Hindus and Muslims. Parth and his family maintained the mosque which now has become a praying place for hundreds. Every year, the family breaks bread with Muslims during Ramadan and are praised by all for their noble deeds thus showcasing a strong bond of brotherhood and harmony among citizens. ভারতবাসী <laughs> আমি শুনেছি হয়তো এত এতটুকু ইতিহাস আমি বলতে পারবো না ভারতের সংবিধানে আছে যেটা হলো মানে সেকুলারিস্টিক সর্বজাতি ধর্ম সমস্ত জাতি ধর্ম এক দেশে বাস করতে পারবে পার্টস ফ্যামিলি কনসিডারস দ্য মস্ক देयर প্রাইড এন্ড কন্টিনিউস টু ইন্সপায়ার দ্য ফেলো সিটিজেন্স টু মেইনটেইন পিস লভ এন্ড হারমনি ইন দ্য সোসাইটি Art is important for a society to evolve. It is the art and crafts of a particular region that showcase its culture and give a glimpse into the everyday lifestyle and mindset of its people. In order to teach students about Kashmiri arts and crafts, a craft safari tour was recently organized. It's been said, art speaks where words are unable to explain. Art therefore has the power to illuminate, enlighten, motivate and transform people and societies. Artists have been using various artworks and illustrations to bring about significant changes in the society for years. Educating tourism students about age-old Kashmiri art forms, a craft safari tour was organized in Srinagar city of Jammu and Kashmir. So what we have done is that not only we have invited the media, but we have also invited the, uh, the uh, faculty from uh, university uh, and uh, uh, the faculty which teaches tourism. They are also being joined by their students. So what we want is that we want to engage with the students so that they conduct these craft tours. So right now uh, the tourism fraternity is also there. For example, now uh, once we promote it and the tourist, uh, tourist wants to come over and uh, experience this craft tour, who is going to conduct it? So in order to factor in that, that's why we have bought uh, the tourism students here so once they get the hang of this what's happening around and they do some study and they understand the history of this craft and then they can explain so the aim is to connect the tourist uh, to the craftsmen through uh, the students who can become our guides Srinagar city's craft weaving pashmina shawls sozni caps and embroidered carpets are immensely popular not only in India but all around the world for this reason, the city has recently made to UNESCO's World Heritage List. 
The motive of the drive was not only to promote Kashmiri art and craft, but to educate students regarding age-old art forms and crafts. Students were excited to have been a part of the heritage walk. मैंने देखा है कि हमारे पास कितना पोटेंशियल है इस फील्ड में और अगर मैं इस चीज़ में खुद रिसर्च करता हूं तो मेरे पास काफ़ी ज़्यादा मतलब अवेलेबल सोर्सेज है इसको करने के लिए तो ये काफ़ी अच्छा है हमारे लिए सर आई थिंक इट इज़ अ ग्रेट सेटअप बहुत बढ़िया सेटअप है क्योंकि इससे एक टूरिज्म स्टूडेंट को ग्राउंड लेवल पर ये जान जानना ज़रूरी है कि हाउ द थिंग्स वर्क क्राफ्ट क्या है इसमें पेपर माशी बाकी चीज़ें जो सारी है ये सब है क्या जब हम ग्राउंड लेवल पर इसको समझेंगे देखेंगे अवेयर हो जाएंगे सो डेट आफ्टर डेट हम इसको आगे जाके यूज करेंगे अपने फील्ड में इट इज ड्यू टू इनिशियटिव लाइक दीज दैट द अपकमिंग जनरेशन आर बिकमिंग अवेयर ऑफ देयर रूट्स एंड आर लर्निंग अबाउट द एज ओल्ड आर्ट्स एंड क्राफ्ट ऑफ देयर रीजन At last we bring you a few short stories about the recent developments and happenings from around the world in our section of World in Focus. Hundreds of pop culture fans recently gathered at a comic and fantasy festival in Nepal's capital Kathmandu. The annual cosplay festival Otaku Chatr started in 2010 and has been growing over the years bringing together pop culture elements such as anime and comic. It's a very awesome feeling because ever since uh, since we were a child we have been looking at them through the screen but when we see them in real life it kind of feels like we are living our dream it doesn't really feel like reality cosplay which originated in japan is a combination of the words costume and play in cosplay people dress mainly as characters from japanese anime as well as graphic manga novels and video games Shimizu Corporation has built a new office named Zeb or Zero Energy Building in Kanazawa city that contributes to the environment. It is the region's first such building constructed with energy saving and power generation technology. The solar power electric generation system in this office produces more electricity than consumption. So, Kankyo Gata Office of Hokuriku Kara という観点でまず最初にこの環境、特にゼブを達成するということを目標に挙げて取り組みました。さまざまな省エネルギーの技術を採用しまして、また建物のデザインも省エネルギーになるようにデザインを行いまして、まず使うエネルギーをぐっと減らしてます。Zero Energy Building of Shimizu Corporation, which focuses on environment and design of traditional Japanese building, is attracting worldwide attention. An Australian biotech startup, ERC Technologies, has invented drones that can combat deforestation by planting millions of trees a year from the air. They have been developed to fight climate change and biodiversity loss by combining drone technology, artificial intelligence, and their special seed pods are designed in a way that they can be fired into the ground from the air. Each of our drones can plant uh, over forty thousand seed pods uh, per day, uh, and they fly autonomously. Um, and uh, you know, in comparison to traditional methodologies, um, that's sort of twenty-five times faster, uh, but also eighty um, percent cheaper. So that really allows um, the adoption of more carbon mitigation, biodiversity loss um, projects to to be undertaken, um, which. Which is is what we really need to do if we are going to sort of, you know, start reducing and and draw down the emissions that we've uh, we've caused over the course of the last thirty forty years. The seeds are chosen for the terrain to be planted, and the pods manufactured locally using waste biomass provide a carbon rich coating that protects seeds from birds, insects, and rodents. The drones autonomously fly pre-programmed flight paths, planting a pre-defined pattern and recording each seed's coordinates, which allows the roots to be surveyed later to assess the health of the trees. Air Seed Technologies had already planted more than 50,000 trees in South Africa and Australia, and aims to plant 100 million trees by 2024.
Boasting a century-old experience, Japanese soy sauce maker Kikumen never hesitates in tackling issues that a company might face in this dynamically changing world. Environment conservation has become a major subject to be tackled by the company. Through the long history of our company, uh, we learned how important uh, to coexist with the local society. And especially, you know, uh, for the uh, manufacturing location, people uh, sometimes worry about uh, pollution out from the manufacturing facility. We are involved with some project related to uh, water quality improvement. Uh, for example, uh, the project related to Lake Zuid Radamer in Netherlands. I received some report from uh, the project in Netherlands and it said they're showing some sign of uh, improving uh, the water quality at Lake Zuid Radamer. Also, uh, the nature is coming back, ecosystem is coming back in part. So I'm very happy to receive uh, that report and I'm looking forward to you know, hearing more about the you know, water uh, quality improvement in the future. Including those years before a uh, merger of eight family-owned company, we have been in business for more than 350 years. Kikuman has a vision, innovate and differentiate to offer meaningful products and services that will lead to healthy lifestyles with delicious food worldwide. That's all we have for you this week. Your comments and suggestions are important to us. Do give us your feedback at myindia at anin.com. I'm your host Karim Zimik and it's goodbye from the entire production team. <laughs> <laughs>